afternoon, the Texas Supreme Court just heard arguments in a case challenging a state law that bans transgender children from getting any type of medical care to transition. Senate Bill 14 took effect in September. <clears throat> it makes it illegal for children in Texas to obtain puberty blockers or hormone therapy. It also revokes the licenses of any doctors <clears throat> who offer that care to people under 18. Teresa Woodard watched those arguments. She is in our newsroom now this afternoon with more on what happened today. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, Jason, the fundamental question here is whether this infringes on parental rights, the rights of transgender children, and the rights of doctors in Texas to do their jobs. Attorneys for the state claim minors under the age of 18 cannot get tattoos, cannot buy cigarettes, cannot buy certain medications. So they argue that a life-altering gender decision should not be made until adulthood. But Justice has asked a lot of questions and even pointed out that every major medical association in America approves of this care for transgender children, and evidence suggests it saves lives. The evidence to support these interventions is questionable at best. And but nevertheless, aren't the medical professionals the one to make those decisions? I mean, certainly more than the legislature. They're doctors who trained and, and they have made the decision that these are medically appropriate uh, treatments, right? Your Honor, the medical profession is not entitled to regulate itself. Now, back when this bill was being debated by the legislature, there were loud, rowdy protests in the state capitol, clashes in the rotunda, people forcibly removed from the House gallery. Another justice pointed out today, it's clear there are disagreements in this state about whether this is medically necessary care. And those elected by the people of Texas made a call on that. It's hard for me to see how the court could ever be the appropriate arbiter of what what moral and philosophical basis are we going to sort of embed into our law's approach to this issue? That seems like that's probably a legislative choice. Unless the now, the state senator who sponsored this bill, a conservative doctor, she was in the audience watching today's arguments. We will break them down a little bit more for you tonight on WFA News at 6. Jason? 